So I recently picked up this 0.2 millimeter nozzle from Micro Center and also this textured build plate. So I want to try them out. So for these tests, I'm going to be using the default settings in the bamboo slicer. And first, I'm going to print out one of my pots I used for filament testing. For comparison, here's a pot I printed with the default 0.4 millimeter nozzle. And as you can see, the layer lines are pretty noticeable. However, using the 0.2 nozzle, you can barely see them. It's also quite a bit more smooth to the touch in real life. Also, this is what the bottom of a print looks like when printed on the default build plate. And this is what it looks like if it's printed on the textured build plate. Of course, this quality comes at a cost. That cost is time. If you look at the estimated time for the 0.4 nozzle on default settings, you can see it takes around 46 minutes to print. However, when we switch to the 0.2 nozzle using the default settings, we can see it takes an estimated time of 2 hours and 44 minutes. That's about three and a half times longer for double the layers. Next, what I wanted to see is how this nozzle handled supports. So I decided to print out a chair. For comparison, I have the love seat, which was printed using the 0.4 nozzle. As you can see, the surface that were printed on supports is pretty rough. But if we look at the chair that was printed with the 0.2 nozzle, the surface is actually not that rough. Of course, we do have a little bit of support residue, but that can be easily scraped off. Now, because this nozzle is smaller, we can theoretically print incredibly small things. So how about we revisit the Nerf mug once again to see if we can make it even smaller. If you watch any of the previous shorts on the mini Nerf bug, we got down to 21% of the original size. So let's see if we can scale it even smaller. Let's start off with 20%. As you can see, it slices just fine. Let's see about going down to 15. Also slices just fine. How about 10? Maybe not. Let's try 11%. There we go. So here we have the original record holder, the 21% size. And here we have the new record holder, 11%. And here's a micro SD card for scale. So while the 0.2 nozzle prints out pretty nice quality pieces, I don't really see myself using it all that often. Maybe if I'm making some smaller or more detailed prints, I'd use it. But for bigger prints or test prints, I'll probably just stick with the 0.4. Simply because it won't take as long. 